Yo, what is everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool sliding text effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see right here, watch this lower thirds right here, and you kind of have like the text like sliding right there, and then right here you just have his name slide on, and then have his name slide off right there. So it's a really cool kind of um, effect. Now you might think, well that's a pretty easy, simple effect, you just have the text, the text keyframe on. Well if you look at it you know, frame by frame, you see the text is just kind of appearing out of nowhere, and you, and you think, hold on a second, that actually is a little harder um, than it looks. And the answer is yes, it's a little bit harder than it looks. So you can see right there, nothing is right there. And then the text just literally comes out of nowhere. So it's definitely a pretty cool effect. It took me a little while to kind of figure it out. It's, it's definitely a little complicated. Um, once, but once you kind of figure it out, it's definitely pretty easy. So you can see right here, here's what it looks like right here. I'm going to go over how to create both. So you can see right here, I just have text layers. All you want to do is you want to go up here and then um, add a basic text. And then of course, you know, if, you don't, if, you, if you've never edited text before, with this icon right here, you can edit the text right here, the font, the size, the, um, the color uh, right there. You can go ahead and just mess with it until you get um, the look that you want, just in case uh, you don't know how to, uh, you, or you never really used text before in Final Cut. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Show Her horizons right here and just going to zoom in let's say 200% as you can see right here you basically want the top text to be above this line and the bottom text to be below this line that's that's um, incredibly crucial because it's just going to help you you could try eyeballing the mask um, but it's not going to work and yes it does involve a mask a text effect does actually um, constitute the use of a mask so it's definitely a pretty complicated effect anyway so I'm going to go ahead and take the draw mask right here and I'm going to apply it on the text layer right here what I'm just going to do is I'm basically going to make sure the mask uh, let me make sure the mask sits right on the line so right here you want to just make sure the, the the mask sits right on the line now if you didn't know this right here you may ask yourself okay how are you getting um, those lines so straight basically what I'm doing is I'm holding down shift as I'm creating the mask so what you're gonna do right here is I'm gonna go down to the second layer right here and add another draw mask onto the quarterback text right there so click right here try to get as close as you can to the line hold down shift hold down shift and then hold down shift and then just press here and then there you go so basically you have the mask right there what I want to do is I'm going to go to the top clip right here and we'll go over to the effects panel right there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to transform I'm going to place a keyframe on the position of the mask and then I'm going to create uh, add a keyframe onto the position um, right there so a key from the position of the mask and then just a keyframe on the position because at the end of the day basically what you're doing is you're having the text slide in but you want to also want to make sure the draw mask is following it right there so now let's go ahead and play it and then we'll go ahead and go right here and what we're just going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the y axis right here and we're just going to drag Matt Ryan um, right there now, as you can see right here let's go ahead and play and see what we have so far so if we play it right here uh, as you can see right there you see that the uh, draw mask is moving with the text so you can see that's what it looks like right now but as you see I don't want it. I don't want to see Matt Ryan right there I want it to just kind of appear out of nowhere and the draw mask I thought you know like putting the draw mask up here it wouldn't move well the draw mask is actually as you can see right here moving with the text so how do you fix that well, you go back to the beginning right here and you go to the draw mask right here and you could try to you know, drag the mask but what I want to do is I'm going to go to the Y axis and I'm going to draw, drag the mask all the way back up to the start right there. So now let's go ahead and wait for it to render and now let's play the clip and let's see if we got the, uh, the effect that we want. So you can see, there we go. Now we've created um, the effect that you want um, right there. So you can see right there, the draw mask is not following. The draw mask is staying right there and it's not following the text. Basically, at the end of the day, what you're doing is you're basically the text is just sliding up from here to here. Pretty simple. However, the mask does the reason you key from the mask is while the text is sliding up, you want to make sure the mask does not move. The text is moving, but the mask cannot be moving. So let's go over here. Let's go to quarterback right there. So let's go ahead and take the Y, uh, place a keyframe on the position right here, place a keyframe on the position right there. Now we're going to go back to the beginning right here I'm just going to um, drag it all the way up 
now we're basically gonna drag the quarterback up here so let's go ahead and play it right here go ahead and play right there as you can see there we go we've almost got the effect but again you can see the quarterback up at the beginning right there so we're going to go back to the text right here and we're going to take the draw mask and we're going to move the position of the draw mask right there and you want to make sure the draw mask is keyframed right there so you can see there's a keyframe on the position so if we play it right here now let's go ahead and play the effect right there and voila there you go you have created this really cool sliding text effect um right there it's as simple as that so all you're doing is the text is sliding right there and the draw mask is just staying in that position you want to make sure the draw mask is not moving with the text and there you go you have created this really cool um lower thirds um, text effect now you could do is you could create a compound clip uh, click on option G if you want to undo it I believe it's like shift command G I believe that's the, co the command for it you can create a group compound clip you could put it over in the corner right there and then you can add some motion blur but I just want to go over basically how to create it right here so you can see right here it's just in a compound clip um, right there and I just added some motion blur onto the text just to help make it look a lot nicer and as you can see again like I said before I grouped into a compound clip and moved it over here and used it as a um, use it as a lower third now I want to go over how to create this really cool sliding text now, as you can see the text commands comes on from this way it doesn't come on right here so this grid is going to be you know completely useless so what you're gonna do right here is I just added a custom generator you just want some sort of line because basically what that line is gonna do is gonna help be a guide for your draw mask so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here and we'll go ahead and just add a draw mask right here and again I'm just going to use these green lines as basically just kind of like an angle anchor point um, right there so you can see there we go there is the mask now again like the same thing that we did uh, for the next for the other clip go ahead go to transform place a keyframe on position place a keyframe on position now I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the beginning right here I'm going to take the x-axis and I'm going to drag it all the way out um, or all the way out right here so let's go ahead and play it right here wait for it to render so go ahead and play it right here as you can see there we go the text slides on right there but the problem is you can still see the text over there and if you're wondering I just had it for five frames that you can obviously adjust that to your liking anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the beginning right here and I'm gonna go ahead and place a keyframe on the position right here and I'm going to move the draw mask so it fits inside these green lines now let's go ahead and play the video or if it to render a little bit now let's play the video right here as you can see there we go as you can see it slides on um, right there simple as that now we're gonna go right here uh, go to this marker um, right here and we had, need to add some more keyframes so add a keyframe on this right here now we're gonna go to where it slides off go to here take the x-axis slide um, the text off right there and then we we'll to go to the draw mask right here and readjust the draw mask um, right there so as you can see there we go just want to readjust the draw mask what you're basically doing is you want to make sure the draw mask stays in this position just like the other text effect right there so you can see right there let's go ahead and play it uh, slides on the screen slides off let's go ahead and disable it right here so let's play it right here as you can see slides on slides off so it's a really cool effect right there now if you're wondering how did it look a lot smoother in the intro that's because I just added some moderate motion blur um, right there so let's go ahead and play the clip right here this really cool lower thirds effect and then you have the text slides on and the text slides off right there so that's how you create this really cool sliding text effect basically what you're doing is you're just keyframing the text to slide on but you want to make sure the draw mask stays in one position so you're keyframing the draw mask because you don't want the draw mask um, to end up following the clip on and off screen and that's pretty much it very simple very easy but that's how you create this really cool um, sliding text effect anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you're new to this channel i upload final cut pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m eastern standard time so if you enjoy these types of videos consider hitting that subscribe button also the final cut pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 200 final cut pro 10 tutorials see you in the next one peace